फाइव रीजन्स वाई यू शुड स्टडी श्रीमद भगवद गीता नंबर वन लॉन्ग ड्राइव इन टू टाइमलेसनेस द नीड फेल्ट फॉर द मॉडर्न माइंड टूवर्ड्स अ लॉन्ग ड्राइव इज टू कम आउट ऑफ द एंट्रैपमेंट्स ऑफ योर प्रेजेंट थॉट्स बट विद द स्टडी ऑफ श्रीमद भगवद गीता it is a journey into timelessness it allows the radiance of timeless wisdom to unshackle from the nerve gripping tiresome constraints of your ongoing problems the situations outward in your life may not change but you the handler definitely undergoes a complete change within your self some unknown energy ushers in your mind and connects you with the immutable gospels of far sightedness the point number 2 the light of true self absorb accept adapt and endure under the light of true self bhagavad gita has a beatitude for its seekers that showers its timeless wisdom upon an understanding that morphs seamlessly into a newness by absorbing facts of life in the light of true self true self alone is the truth and rest all is a transient swam of delusions once our mind connects even with the distant touch of the oozing light of the true self the falsehood along with its impacts dissipates and one happily accepts adapts to the to endure from the roughness thrown by the delusory transition the point number 3 why should one study shrimad bhagavad gita from stress of absolutism to detachment responsibility and accountability accompany absolutism absolutism may have different connotations here it is interpreted as arjuna trying to become krishna we all have to exercise our role under limitation imposed by several factors we can stretch within available limits of our strength and yet remain dependent a sense of absolutism in light of responsibility brings stress beyond measure and upon our physical and mental domain light of shrimad bhagavad gita transforms our understanding to an equilibrium where uncompromising responsibilities are exercised by a detached insight saving self from the ills of stress yes the burnout stress syndrome point number 4 why you should study shrimad bhagavad gita you are not alone a light manifests within the seeker that there is some higher reality acting every minute as a support it is only that we have never turned towards it within to seek a peak of it a feeling of left alone is a curse whereas on the contrary a whisper within you that you are not alone is an assurance that instills a sense of companionship with pure blissful higher consciousness that remains available as support in all good and bad times point number 5 why should one study shrimad bhagavad gita incompleteness of this mortal plane as krishna mentions in bhagavad gita to arjuna i have created this mortal plane with an inherent component of deficiency and the deficiency was first given to the fire in the form of smoke imperfect mortal plane has its own limitations and once this understanding settles within us the heap 
of inflated ill will or disgruntlement reduces and thereby restoring us to our most required inner balance. These are the understanding drawn out of my experiences of studying Srimad Bhagavad Gita since a long period of time and of course been teaching verse by verse for the past more than 12 years. Our YouTube channel has got a library of all the recordings that now runs into hundreds. Barring three chapters out of the first nine, almost all the recordings are available in Hindi and English language. You may choose the language as per your own going, but you must try to connect to the light of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. I invite you with these five major deliverables that every modern complexity ridden mind shall seek the most. The resolve comes to a seeker unknowingly. Avail this opportunity and if you have something more to convey, write to me on the email that is mentioned in the description under this video. That's all I wanted to convey for this day. Om hi satya hai. Om hi satya hai. Om hi satya hai.